dispose of this annoyance at once. And welcome back, everybody, to Danganronpa. I'm Dead. still here. Yeah, we got Cave. And we were hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right. A common, ordinary progression would have just been fine. Not six months... May you months, live in interesting times, Hajime. Not six months to a year in between updates. <laughs> We'll be more we'll be more reliable now because I enjoy this game and it's gonna be fun doing it with someone else. Yeah. Like, for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss. Or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. You know, ordinary. The video game. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. I'm Not... sorry, you don't get to level up after every session. <laughs> But I want to get a feat. I'm really hyped for my next few levels because I've, I've got my, my character progression planned out pretty solidly. I'm only like seven levels away from beginning to optimize them in the way I want. The name's Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Cromarty <laughs> High School. That's what it's fucking called. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't who uh, don't know, there's very little gap in time between certain sessions. Oh, watch the ending of the last video to understand what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, he looks like a character from Kamari High School. N Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me. Don't you remember? I've this? got 17 different massage functions. Don't you remember the drill bit on my chin? I stole it from a guy named Simon. Actually, that looks like something Kazuichi would have. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, he's the exact same, just metal. Yeah, it's like somebody spray painted him chrome. Yeah. Jeez, you guys are a strange lot. Y'all have such big, wide eyes. <laughs> or perhaps you fall in love with this metallic body of mine. I know what the ladies have. Yeah. <laughs> I already know what you want to say just by looking in your eyes. I was installed with a psychic unit. Then again, I am a former team manager. This is the guy that fucks up my throat. <laughs> Just, we each get one. Yeah. I already screwed, so I don't mm. have to. What happened? What happened? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. You. Hey, man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya with that strange ass mask. As he raised his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed onto Nekomaru's head and... I already know. Uh, take off. Ooh, it vibrates. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. do you feel pain? S stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Gotta take a dump. Hey. I haven't shit since I got this when new body. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap, it's not just for show! Oh, I love his fucking weird ass scared face. Pure electricity! It's not just for show, it's pure electricity. I've been reborn as pure electricity. Oh, I eat, know you're metal. Eat my ass, Electro. <laughs> A ball? If you're seriously Nekamaru, that's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that. It's all my fault, right? Sorry. This is actually a strict upgrade for Nekamaru. Oh, yeah, this is. I feel like I've talked about this before in a show, but when, like, third gen Ghost in the Shell level cyberization technology comes out, I'm fucking hopping in that bitch. Like, fuck this meat. I'm just gonna be a goddamn... I'm, I'm gonna be a goddamn brain just attached to a fucking, like, I don't know, a spider or some shit. As long as you can still play video games. Yeah, still play video games, still watch it, still do regular shit I do. Still, like, taste, but not necessarily need to eat. <laughs> don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You're too upbeat! Is this really okay? <laughs> if you keep sweating the small stuff, you're gonna end up getting more you're gonna end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. 
commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Hey. But you're really Nekamaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right! I've recommend I've resurrected from the depths of hell in Shining Silver! I want a character that has that happen to them in D&D &D at some point. <laughs> they die and then just come back as a warforged. <laughs> How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. It's way more badass. How can you accept that body? Oh. It's better to just be alive. I hard <laughs> disagree. Huh? I hard agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. Show some spirit. It doesn't matter what happens to my body. Not one bit. Amazing. You're amazing. Nakamaru is brimming with hope. I'm also brimming with oil. <laughs> that's, that, that's that white stuff that I just spilled on you, by the, by the way. Oil. Yes, just Only oil. oil. It's useful for massages. Don't question it. <laughs> it's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nekamaru is saying, but no matter how he makes sense of this, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie. Well, half right. This is reality. Wrong. And I don't mean, I don't, with, that, with that specific thing, I don't just mean in general. I mean like, potentially, this isn't reality within the world of the game. Because if you remember, in the first bits, when we first started, uh, like, Hajime going through, like, his, like, like, walking into the school and, like, passing out from the shit, he did, like, the world did glitch for a second, then he had, like, you know, recursive text, like, he had, like, he fucked up, and then loading into the world, it was all the compression errors. No comment. Yep. I'm just saying this for my own thing. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No. Instead... Why did this happen? Because um, Akane tried to punch out the evil robot. Yeah, naturally. Anyway, I'm glad that's fine, right? Hey, Nekamaru definitely can't... That, this is Nekamaru, right? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? No touching, by the way. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. Yeah, why is Nekamaru a robot? Fortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekamaru from the jaws of death. But they don't call me the Psychopop Magician for nothing. Calls you the Psychopop Magician. I don't know, the people who watched Boogie Pop Phantom? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Such a, Such a wonderful was born after his occurred. Has occurred. <laughs> he was saying it. I yes, he was. I he was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> the beers to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. Hey, hey. If you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what did it, what happened to the other stuff like your self awareness and How many times do I have to tell you that it doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nakamaru Nidai. Is he? Weirdly enough, since becoming a robot, he hasn't generated any lightning. He used to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, he used to generate lightning currents. Yeah, I guess what the hell? I guess I guess he lost his stand when he lost his like organic body. Or it's just become internalized and his body is actually powering him. <laughs> yeah, they just built a robot, put his brain in it, and then all of a sudden it just like boot up before they put a battery in. They're like, that's weird. And he's like, I've got a poop! <laughs> Is he going to power through the rest of his life with his new ability? Hmm. Kind of reaction. It looks like you really are self-aware. <laughs> that means this technology is insane. I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. I was waiting for Kazumichi to get hard about the new robot. <laughs> yeah, I was too. What the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. 
If you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. The real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. And you're saying that's you? Were you... You. Really that amazing? Stop admiring him. You stupid stuffed toy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. What? Uh, hold on. If you have Monokuma, you're going to... <laughs> you intend to defy me yet again? You're quite the barbarian. Jeez, this time you will definitely fall prey to my Monokuma Bazooka! Hasn't done anything yet, you're breaking the rules, Monokuma. Once again, the world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding environment and all sound was blown away by the impact. Turning everything completely white. And within that whiteness, I heard that voice yet again. Uh, uh, Nekomaru! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't face me at all! Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Also, Akane, your dumbass almost got somebody killed again. Yeah, the exact same way. Are, are you fucking serious? He took that blast and didn't he doesn't even have a single scratch. <gasps> awesome! He's seriously a real robot. <laughs> Can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me let me disassemble you and show me your insides? Oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> if I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. By the way. Ah, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot, if Nakamaru was killed, it's still going to count as a murder, okay? Of course. Cool. It's possible that Nakamaru might kill someone else instead. Don't say such foolish things. That'll never happen. Isn't that right? Pats Hajime on the shoulder and explodes him. <laughs> well, with all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before I can mentally process this. Um, um, will Nekamaru never return to his original form? I've got some clones in the tank, don't worry. If that is the case, he's a burden for Nekamaru. Just don't decide for him! Hey, hey! It's like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? Like Frankie! Super! Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Uh-huh. Well, just consider this a little promotion. Making a robot of one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. And the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. You're totally destroying the genres! Yay! Destroy the genres! Well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. <laughs> Hajime, not agreeing with this staunch defender of genre lines. As I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laughter, once again I was forced to accept. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing, those things don't apply here at all. It's like it was poorly written or something. <laughs> That's what it means to live in a mad world. Mad, mad world. Oh, hey, look, it's Marcus Phoenix. He's from Gears of War. The next morning, we gathered at the hotel restaurant, like we always do. Turns out Nekamara has a built-in juicer. Man, the food today was awesome as usual. <laughs> as always, you sure do eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. It's impossible to not to worry about it. Why did Monokuma give, why, why did Monokuma give him individualized teeth? I actually think there's a lot of the original organic inside. So he's less robot, um, more cyborg android thing. I think he's a cyborg. He has a tongue. 
Yeah, but the tongue's metal. It doesn't need a tongue. There's no point to a tongue. And it's pink. Tongue is pink. Yeah, it's pink metal. <laughs> it's not pink metal. <laughs> I know. I think Monaco, I honestly think Monaco might have just like changed up some of his organs and then spray painted him silver. <laughs> that's the kind of shit Monaco would pull. Or that's one of uh, Monami's old ears that Monaco just ripped off and put in his mouth. <laughs> no matter what. Will do for a tongue. Yeah. <laughs> my entire Why is my tongue furry. Yeah. My entire body's made of steel, but my tongue's made of felt. <laughs> Makes it hard to move when I get wet. No matter what, this really is strange. It's not something I'll get used to easily. Hey, hey. Anyway, what are you going to do, Mechamaru? Oh, that's a great nickname. Mechamaru. You're used to him already? What am I going to do? Hmm. Food. Do you need, like, milk? Hey, hey. Regular? You mean? Well... Let it? Nah, he doesn't need oil. Since he said he's pure electricity, maybe he's battery powered or something. <laughs> You're just adapting the Nekamaru voice. I can't help myself. I can totally eat normal food. Especially rice ditches. Rice bitches, I don't know. I can't keep my eyes off them. However, I've been feeling a little down lately. So I don't have much of an appetite. Alright! Are you malfunctioning? If you if you show me your insights, I can fix you up, you know. No, meat, no. Respect consent. My tongue is a felt ear. <laughs> <laughs> what? See you here too. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered together like this. However, I just wanted to make sure I spoke to you about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? A person Mekon called a beloved. Can't help thinking about it. Thinking about that and it won't get out of my what? head. Am I just a coward for worrying about Let that? You it crossed my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it. So this is the end. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Saw this last episode. <laughs> this too must be the will of causality. It was as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. <laughs> what is all to worry about? <laughs> Fine. More importantly, we should be thinking about the future foundation, our enemy. If that fearsome organization known also as World Ender truly is responsible for our imprisonment, if you flinch, you will die! Then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. The future foundation. Hmm. I don't think Kazuichi's powerful enough to fight She Hulk. The word future. Tomorrow like might be. Potentially. Does it have anything to do with that ancient ruin? With the ancient Gatling gun and the ancient data pad? I mean, there's no doubt that symbol on the door to that ancient ruin was the native language I speak's word for freedom, a free future. Fuck. If that's the case. It might be better if we investigate that ancient ruin again later. However, the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? They went through a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Not only that took away several years worth of memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy for reasons that are also unknown. Future Foundation, World Ender, <laughs> constipated. There's obviously something wrong with you if you believe something so unrealistic. Hey, hey. You're one to talk. What? What 
should be what we should be most concerned about as it relates to the future foundation isn't that right the traitor from the future foundation that's hiding among us uh. said the title of the game again hey wonder who it is true identity of the outsider hiding among us and trying to ensnare us i won't be fooled Nagito's obviously the most suspicious, though. Even a childish organization blathering about the end of the world wouldn't accept someone like me. I'm too much of a sussy baka. Billy Billy. Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. No, they do. They need people to feed to the meat grinder. Yeah. yeah. Someone the, needs to be part trooper. of the 10,000 fed to the emperor every day. You guys should know that feeling well, right? I think so. And that's impressive. And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Then, who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Boy got a hate on for Hajime. Well, yeah, I foiled his plans more than once. I'm oh, sorry, what? Isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? Hey. Not just that. You're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. If you're basing this on an outsider hiding among the group of ultimates, Hajime should be doubted right away. Except for the fact that you'd better believe they'd set up an ultimate identity for their traitor. Yeah, of course. And Hajime's the traitor! Way too easily it, led. Of course not! What are you even saying? shouldn't raise your voice like that. We might become even more suspicious of you, you know. Th this is obviously your fault. Settle down. Stop fighting. Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That, that might be true, but... All right, I'll handle this. Just leave this matter to me. <laughs> what do you mean? To eliminate this tense atmosphere, <laughs> allow me to present to you my new function that I discovered last night. Oh no. N new function? <gasps> Don't tell me. Is it flight? Can you fly? Just gonna activate the Frankie beam and just. <laughs> it's not a conventional function like that. It's far more practical and novel. Double now beams? then. Let's go! Ah! Whoa! Behold! Huh? He actually a juicer? <laughs> Nekamaru is crying! No. Hardly, I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses cola, and my left oh, eye dispenses no. Ruibos tea. Behold! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a soda fountain? In order to be a soda fountain, I need soda in me. And you haven't, you keep saying no to that, so. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that scene. <laughs> <laughs> I know we'll be here all day if we keep commenting on every little thing you do. Don't fuck with me. But what the hell was Monokuma thinking giving you a function like that? You're so evil. That guy, he's definitely fooling around. Monokuma's just toying with other people's bodies. I too was modified by Monokuma, so I totally understand how Nikamaru feels. But don't be depressed. You'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. I'll you up. Don't go butting into our conversation all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rabbit. That's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. Oh. You showing up at this time means. Did you come to tell us that you defeated another mono beast? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> ah, you're correct! Once again, you can visit New Island, so please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. 
I ain't going. The drag. Huh? Even if we go to the new island, it's not like we're gonna find a way to escape this place, right? You are right. Mother, I feel as though the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a new island. So it might be best if we do not go. <laughs> I renounce you! I don't know what you're planning, fiend, but we're not going to fall for it. Yes! That, that's a misunderstanding! Uh, I was just... Ard, jeez, how annoying. Just stay back and leave the rest to your big brother. I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys to you, little sis. What are you doing? You're acting like we're allies or something. Ah, Jesus. Here's your warning. Oh no, he's attacking me with delicious! <laughs> yeah. It's impossible to defend against it or evade it. Well, I mean, the D missed you. And so did the L. And the C. And, and the so U. Did the C. Yeah, most of the. Like, about half of them missed you. Yeah, you got hit by. Yeeus. It's you. And the E could have missed one yeah. of your ears. And now that I've mopped up that annoying Special one. Okay. So you guys are feeling down in the dumps. I'll make you guys excited, so excited you're no probably. Compared to the earlier investigations, I've prepared a special treat. That's completely different from before. Nice. Oh, you took the bait. I guess it's true. You want to get a shot in out of their room? Carrots work best. Nah, son. If you get a shot and they don't like carrots. Huh? Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. <laughs> it's an amazing treat. Don't wet your pants? Well, it's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me, Nakamaru. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What else? I cups? prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island. Such as clues about the future foundation, also known as World Ender, potentially. Huh? <laughs> as parts that may be useful for making a ship. You serious? Are you for real? News. And also, your student profiles from your time at Hope Peak Academy. Sick. I look forward to finding Hajime's and finding either empty or with information blacked out. Au revoir. Oh, do your best to explore the island. Take care, bitches. Hey, hey. Dot, 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 dot. What should we do? You know. Right? In that. Our only option is to go. Obviously. We might be able to go home if we have ship parts. Yep. I plan to go, too. If there are clues about the Future Foundation. Need to make sure to see them. Dot dot dot. Am I gonna question why we're trusting the evil bear? Yeah, you know Not the one who the, you, the one who you seem to discover every day is lying to you all the time. Like seriously, or the pink one who's lying to us, but she's actively trying to help us. He's just trying to get us to kill each other. Not you, Hajime. Of course you're going right. If you look at your student profile, you may be able to find out what your shining talent is. It's a chance for you to clear any suspicion, right? What suspicions? I don't think anyone here doubts me. What? Oh, I see. But if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what it is. The reason Host Pick Academy chose me, the talent I possess, these things matter to me. There's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you've all prepared yourself for the worst. Starting to get pumped up. That means we're going, right? I... If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. Hmm. There's also a possibility Monokuma set a trap. Should be careful where we step. 
I can't stop thinking about that ancient ruin that might hold clues about the future foundation. But we should start exploring the new island. Oh, yeah, oh. baby. We are moving. We is doing stuff. But first, I got to check on my Tamagotchi. Oh. I have anything <laughs> for you. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Have a real physical fucking crooked. And her despair meter was growing there. Yeah, actually, let's just keep giving her stuff until she feels better. I actually looked up a guide on how to get the various uh, pets as an option. Like, really? Because there's a variety of different pets you can get. Yeah, I think uh, one of the first ones I got was, like, the pig. Mm. Yeah. Uh, much like much like real Tamagotchi's teaching you the lesson that if your thing is feeling sad, just if the thing you love Throw is feeling sad, at it. just keep giving it stuff. Eventually it'll be happy. And if it doesn't be happy, then you're doing it wrong. All righty. So, yeah. Got to get my steps in as well. And first, we're actually going to be going to the uh, gotcha machine because I want to just fucking... I have all these coins now, I guess. Ooh, gotcha machine. Are you sprinting or just regular walking? Now I'm sprinting. There you go. I forgot what button it was. Yeah, when I when I played this game the first time and I realized walking leveled you up, I actively just went the opposite direction of where I was supposed to go every time so that I could get the most steps in. Yeah. What when are I, you doing? When I first started, I'm standing in front of the foreground. Shh, don't talk about that. <laughs> I notice that every time I run. And he is a lanky boy. Oh, yeah, he is. This man like is nine. Walking, this man is sixty percent leg. The walking model makes him look so awkward. Uh, fuck off. But they won't let you go to the gotcha machine. I guess I first have to go to the fucking island. Hey, more voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any of the uh, side mini game where you play as Monami and fight off the various like beasts? No. It's a fun one. It's a fun little distraction. Like like all of the side mini game things, it's a fun little distraction. I don't think I've ever done any of the side mini game things. Like I think I just blasted through the story because like isn't the other one like the dating sim where you get underwear? Like, yeah, 100%. That's what that is. So, Fourth Island's a new one, right? I believe so. The Mona Beast that was blocking this bridge has disappeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but... How is something as pathetic as Mona Me able to defeat a Mona Beast? <laughs> oh, sick burn. No, nah, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. I mean, who'd think about Mona Me? It's used to think about things that are a waste of time, like Monami. I've learned that much during my time here. Come, just hating on Monami there. Which is weird, because I really like her. <laughs> As I walked across the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Is this an amusement park? Oh, it's hell. Which murder is this? It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. It looks fun, amazing, exciting, thrilling. It just makes it look even creepier. <laughs> that it fucking It looks like does. Discount Disneyland. Hey, I'm finally walking behind the foreground. Don't worry, we'll get some foreground that you can walk in front of again. Let's look at the horror house. Jesus. That's a creepy looking building that doesn't seem to belong in an amusement park. It's supposed to be a haunted house. 
<laughs> Shitty me. We're so juvenile. Yes, we are. I don't really understand it, but this island certainly feels yeah. stiff. If Yoko and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. Thanks for being depressing. Like what the hell is wrong with this island? Why is this here when they're forcing us to kill each other? Dumbass. This is in such bad taste. The sign at the top of the building definitely says Horror House, but it's like whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house or something. <laughs> Ever since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. And not just that, look at what he did to my house. <laughs> oh, this is too much. There's nothing good about this at all. If this keeps up, history will remember me as the greatest character to ever become a one-shot punchline. Oh, sweetie. History won't sure remember won't you at all. You. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Hajime, you were here? You didn't notice until now. Or notice the other two over there. <laughs> How terrible of me to, as your teacher to cry in front of one of my students. That haunted house over there. Is that your house? It was, but Monokuma bullied me. Kept bullying me and it ended up like this. Oh, it was supposed to be cute. My house is supposed to be cute. Ah, oh, you can't. I understand the urgency, but you cannot go inside. <laughs> Even teachers have a private side that their students aren't allowed to see. Um. <sighs> also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door ha open halfway. That way, my mommy won't. Sh otherwise, my mommy won't shut up about it. Oh, 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 oh. What am I saying? It's just a what-if scenario, okay? Ew. Don't. Like, I get you. I get the joke, period. but like, bruh. Ew. Anyway, this is Monami's house, and it's safe to say that we're not allowed inside. So it's a waste of time. <laughs> like her. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Anki Hajime. Oh, Jesus. It's mouse themed. I know, but it's also mm. just like the bastard love child of mm. Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. The amusement park's castle. It's mouse themed. There's That's the love child of Chuck E. Cheese and his sister. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. Oh, oh, oh. What? Yeah. Mice are the only thing I can't handle. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> you too? You don't like mice either? No. The siblings, after all. <laughs> yeah. no, not mice. I don't like them. What a couple of loud mouths. <laughs> I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. First, get your boy. Monokuma. I've been found. Oh, you have a lot of monocoins. Yes, I do. And so it's all mouse themed, but he has a bear themed balloon. <laughs> The castle's mouse theme, the rest of it Monokuma is already modified. The building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. Eh. Wow, what a coincidence. I was just thinking the same thing. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's castle. Oh, we were actually deposed, so now we live in a slum. <laughs> 
We have running water Girl, when it rains. She's the real deal. Sonya's a hundred percent pure princess who lives in a hundred percent pure castle. Actually, we have a nice estate. We don't have a castle anymore. That's just for tourists. Yeah, the castle was considered a historical site, so we're not allowed to live there anymore. Don't talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. I mean, have you heard of the country she's from? Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I was just wondering. Is that mere human going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating. Fascinating, you fiend. You glitch, you will die! I'll play your game, you rogue. Come, tell me. Try to satisfy my four dark divas of destruction. That's right. Those hamsters could probably cast, pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monami with your hamsters. I already told you. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. A fiend like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they've shed their transient guises. <laughs> Ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans once in a while. He gives some roundabout excuses that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. All right, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nakamura. Hey, are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. For some reason. No, I, I guess it's okay. Since he's a robot, it makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, as he's thinking this, he's just rubbing the bridge of his nose, like, I'm thinking these thoughts, and they're making sense. That sound means I'm fully feeling emotionally charged right now! I, I, I see. You, your body makes noises based on your feelings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I've activated a new function. New function? Are you serious? Is it flight? Can you finally fly? <laughs> <laughs> he's just so... Is it with you in flight? Well, he's a mechanic. Makes cars, not planes. There are mechanics on planes. But he makes cars. Yeah, because he's too dumb to make planes. Now then, prepare yourself. He finally shit. I know, Dookie. I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. <laughs> Whether it's training, meals, or baths. No doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. It actually comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? I'm one in reverse! Hold on! A cuckoo clock? Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. <laughs> this is a highly efficient radio clock! <laughs> uh, I'm Gunrampa. It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so I can automatically the time it takes to under Holy boy, it's an extremely accurate clock. Oh, I was thinking you clock radio. radio I was more impressive if it was an atomic clock. Yeah, but like when he said radio clock, I thought it meant like I can accurately tell time and set alarms to turn on the radio. Suddenly, a, a smooth samba beat starts playing. That's my samba alarm. It means it's time to poop! <laughs> That's right. It's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it can't be adjusted. <laughs> I have become a time lord. Man. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again! This is more useful. There's nothing more useful than this. That Monokuma. He's definitely toying with people's bodies. No. Kidu. 
investigate here a little more. Though. Alrighty. Deeper. A clatter, clatter. Huh. It's locked. I somehow rattled a handle that doesn't exist. Maybe a bunch of mice pressed up against the other side of the door. Ah, just thinking about it is too awful. No, not mice. You suggested it, you piece of shit. They're going to chew through my ears. Anyway, looks like we can't go. Looks like we can't go in there. Akamaru, battering ram. <laughs> You got it, buddy. <laughs> I'm the most accurate battering ram. Ooh, a roller coaster. A roller coaster. This is going to be an execution, isn't it? That'd be badass. Like, they just put him in it, and then he goes in the loop to loop, and it just spins there until he's just like a pile of bones. I was thinking more like intentional murder uh, roller coaster tycoon, where the track just ends and launches you into the abyss of one of the most dangerous rides or something. Yeah, either or. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. Rawr! Too bad! It's still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough yet. I'm in the middle of powering it up like crazy. I don't know why, but just saying "rar" put me into headspace where just I started translating all those lines into uwu speak. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's gonna ride this anyway. Come on! Now, now, don't say that. I'm. I. I also prepared a prize for you. You're planning to bait us with a prize again. Anyway, please enjoy the other attractions first. I'll make sure I finish the maintenance by then. <sighs> For now, I should... Just like, exacerbated sigh. Yeah, just, just every dot 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 from Hajime is just him just going... <sighs> For now, I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when the time comes. Hello, Akane. A roller coaster! Roller coasters are the only reason to go to amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Right. Apparently, it's still under maintenance, but I'll be the first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. Damn it. We just said no one would be stupid enough to ride it, Akane. She just sets up a tent to like just camp out until it opens. Oh, yeah, still under maintenance. Prove us wrong, Akane. I guess you should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when the time comes. I just had the mental image of Hajime running into someone as he sprints and like they just get like leg tangled. <laughs> yeah, just a Gordian knot of human meat. <laughs> it's like a building out of a fairy tale. Minus the creepy looking train. No, that tracks. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? Where are we supposed to find the clues about the future foundation in an amusement park? Well, if I were building it, they'd be prizes for the attractions, like just to ride through them all and then you get stuff. Yeah, probably, like you get tokens at some parks to show that you've ridden a ride. Yeah. With 50 tokens, you, you, with, with, uh, you get, like, tickets. And with 50 tickets, you can get, like, a pencil eraser. And with 10,000 tickets, you can get your file back from the school. <laughs> and for 50,000 tokens, you, you can get a PSP. Like your school profile, maybe? Ajime <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> just done with not, you know. Just done with all of them. Just these fucking people. I am the ultimate, I am the ultimate exacerbated student. It's fucking done. It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Rawr! Welcome to the funhouse! 
fun house. Yes, indeed. <sighs> this train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the fun house. Then there's no way I'm riding that thing. You need the tokens! Rawr, rawr, rawr. You'd never be able to ride it anyway. Hey, um... You know, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us? So... If you want to try to go to the fun house, you've got to assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Oh, that line. Oh, so dumb. I love that one. <laughs> this obviously smells fishy. I know which murder is next. This is clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Oh, right. I think it's time I head over to the roller coaster. So this was the last uh, thing to investigate. So in order to go to the back to the roller coaster, I need to keep going right to make more steps. Gonna level up my Tamagotchi. Oh damn. Yo. Everybody Everybody's here to ride the roller coaster. There's a Monokuma. Yep, I saw it. Hey, want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride the roller coaster together. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing! Didn't I tell you? I get crazy car sick! What? Welcome! Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park. Great ultra delicious coaster. Is it really true that we'll get a prize for riding this? Of course. Sure thing. What's the prize? No way. Oh no. That's the surprise for after you ride this. this is bad. Do we really all have to ride this together? And I tell you already, are those ears for decoration? Shut up. Shut up. Like on Nekomaru? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it! Are you sure? I mean, the pretty cool decorations. Like, check this out. I have to swappable. I'm an That's elf. Pretty cool. yeah, I'm an elf now. <laughs> Can I open you up and see how they connect? No! It's magnets! <laughs> now, 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 it's gonna be fine. Throw rides are sweet! <laughs> Why would Sui? Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility that the prize is going to be those shit pots, you know? Uh, that, that might be true, but. Um, might I ask, where will this prize take us? Won't take us anywhere. Just gonna circle around and come back here, right? Is the meaning behind that? My country is so poor, we've never had anything beyond a Ford, t a Ford Model T. Have you never gone to an amusement park? I am ashamed. I'm embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. <laughs> We're stuck in the dark ages, quite literally. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen well. But it was. So you fuckers just get on the roller coaster already. But it was an amusement park in hell, filled with man-eating demons. Huh? Huh? There are amusement parks in hell. Of course. Haven't you seen Monkey Bone? Oh. Lord. <laughs> Never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you the next time. Don't do it, Miss Sonia. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your. I shall offer up your blood. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. That is. <coughs> oh, dip. Oh. What is this game? 
It seems my blood cannot be used as the instrument be. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, wait, does that mean... Hey. It's Sonya. Everyone, it's just going to be a waste of time if we stand around like this. Yeah, we don't want to be Monomy, do we? See? <laughs> Why don't we just try riding it? That's obviously wrong. Oh god, my poor throat. Oh, hold on! Why do we have to just try riding it? Over the course of this recording, I have gone through about half a gallon of water. <laughs> I ran out of water. Ikemaru, <laughs> can I leave this to you? Understood. Leave it to me! Hopefully, no one else in my apartment gets mad about that. Please, let me go! Let me go! Ah! Despite his desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuffed into the roller coaster. Now then. All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster. It's a good coaster. With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster okay. took off at maximum speed. Yeah. <laughs> Nakamura, there's a problem. You're losing all these bolts, dude. Oh, they're just in my pocket. <laughs> Kazuichi and. Fucking Gundam are about to die. <laughs> Everyone else just having a good time. Totally down for just, just fuck kill me already, dude. Yes, Wait, what? All right, we have arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? Apparently, I say that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes it's no sense. It's gotta be a glitch. It's gotta be a glitch. So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go on it one more time. Be with Akane. I agree. Once more. No friggin' way. Hey, hey. Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Yes, indeed. Up at donuts. Oh yeah, right. Here you go. The treat is a file. You'll need you need this file in order to get your student files out of this safe. A ball. The symbol. I know it's yeah. it's a word. Oh, there are these strange there are these symbols all over this all over this piece of paper. What is what is it? I think it's writing. But then like I, it's it's words. You just you're reading words. <laughs> Dead has been broken by the symbology of all of this. If so, this file must be a file for the future foundation. Will we be able to find out uh, who they are if we look at we look at this? Hey. Is it all right if I check inside? Fucking nope. <laughs> do a thing, do whatever you like. We gathered around Nakito as he received the file. He punched us all in the dick and ran away. <laughs> he threw the file into the ocean. <laughs> Hope wins! <laughs> and stared at them intensely as he carefully turned the pages, then ate them one by one. Hope's Peak Academy ironically became the site of the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually, eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia, and that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days, but at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind who paid with their life. With this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Wait. Hey, aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived. Yes, that's what we just fucking read. Yeah. And what does this mean? 
Why is he in this photo? I looked down. Who he's talking about, right? Yeah, I looked down where Nagito was pointing. Huh? He was much thinner, as if it was an entirely different person, or the person that, or the person that ate a different person. <laughs> but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Yakuya Togami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. This definitely looks like Byakuya. Impossible. Why is Byakuya's photo in here? This is... This is... What, what does this mean? Hey, 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 hey. Like, what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? No, they were talking about a killing school life. We're on the killing school trip. Looks like the killings we're involved in resemble this set of killings that happened. That took place inside Hope Peak Academy. Hey, bastard. Hope Peak Academy. Hold on. Did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope Peak Academy? It's not possible. There's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen. Let me ask. However, what if the future foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? What? You mean that organization was the one who took over Host Peak Academy then? Of course not. Oh, sorry, my language processor broke. It's not possible. How stupid. <laughs> sorry, my language it's processor broke. Everywhere. I meant Host Peak Academy. If Byakuya was still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. Yeah, if only someone Did had gonna grab that Monokuma back there? However, I've been waiting been to. looming there. However, we lost our memories, correct? Should have applied to Byakuya as well. Also, Byakuya never said a word about a past actually- about such a past actually existing. Well, he was killed before he could. And also, we never asked him. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. And perhaps... Uh, ah! Perhaps... That's what Byakuya was planning to talk to me about. <laughs> I can make these jokes, I'm fat. Oh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> was he I can laugh at these jokes I'm fat <laughs> specifically referring to this killing school life okay. anyway as long as Biaki is no longer with us we have no choice but to ask Monokuma I wonder hey, whose fault that there, is Monokuma. come over here how does the killing school life that occurred at Hope's Peak relate to this island well, I mean, for one thing, Monokuma's in the file you just read. Hey, um... Only thing I can say is... All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. You? Oh, yeah, that's me. Then give them back! Give those memories back to us! No, no! The Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Godless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. Ah, this isn't making any sense again. How fucking annoying. Ah. Hey. Never, man, just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Disassemble the, disassemble the roller coaster and use that. Who knows? Roller coaster, the train, the Ferris wheel. Who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. I sailed a Ferris wheel to freedom. However, it's not impossible. It'd just be very, very funny. Very unlikely. We've searched this island once through, but did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the funhouse should still be left. This too must be the Based on what I've heard. It seems we cannot access it unless we are all gathered together, correct? Correct! 
ding, ding, correct mundo. That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. Then the ship part should be there too, right? It's for a ship in a bottle. <laughs> That'd be so, so Monokuma. No, not just the ship parts. If he means all the treats, that also includes our host peak academia student profiles. Which means a clue about my talent should be there too. It might be a trap. It might be a trap, but... But... It's what like we're already caught in a trap. Then... Everyone... Let's go. Come on, <laughs> Let's try going to the funhouse. However... See, is that really alright? The funhouse is that creepy-looking building, right? No, it's the other creepy-looking building. Okay, then we can go in that one. But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and that's what I'm here for, the ship parts. Right? I'm not a traitor. And learn the secret of Hajime's talent, too. <sighs> Fine, I think we should listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. Looks like you guys have decided. I can't wait! I can't wait! I have things to prepare, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. Things. I'm not really on board with this idea, but... Everyone says they're gonna go. I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I guess I'll just die with all of you. I shall be cool. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Gundam Tanaka, D and D player. <laughs> then it's decided. <laughs> Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from the Future Foundation file, but I was panicking, which is the proper response in all this, honestly. The fact that you guys are able to function yeah. at all is honestly surprising. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot to grab that Monokuma behind the roller coaster. <laughs> Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. Completely forgot about that. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to call here. All right. Oh, that's going to do it for this time. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll get the Monokuma next time. But until then, I'm dead. And I'm Cave. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out.